So when we report about crime and talk with police, we often get a vague description about a suspect, something like male, six foot, medium build, could describe millions of people, right? In the absence of surveillance video or even pictures, composite sketches can really be a key to solving crimes. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live. And Ashley, you actually spoke with a former law enforcement officer who now uses art and technology to help lo local law enforcement agencies. Right, Jen and Bruce, good morning to you both. He actually works with nearly all of our local police departments, JSO, St. John's County Sheriff's Office, Bradford County, and Columbia County. Now, Vincent Russo himself worked with St. Augustine PD and with the St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Now, he launched his group called Face Logics, and you can see right there, this is the website, launched it five years ago with his wife. He says when time is of the essence, facial forensic technology really is a game changer. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. When police are trying to identify a suspect, a good one is everything. And you gotta say, what's gonna capture people's attention? Because that's the whole point of this. We gotta get this out there and we want people to look at it. Through face logics, Vincent Russo helps 120 police agencies narrow down the suspect pool right from a computer. Russo's artists work from home and create photo lineups, allowing for a more neutralized image for investigations. On the left is an old driver's license photo. In the completed image on the right, the background is darker, the woman's earrings are gone. You can now focus on what she looks like. Composite uh, sketches are big for the company as eyes. well. Now these were actually solved due to somebody seeing the subject and looking at the composite and going, wait a minute. <laughs> Is this the guy? With these artists working remotely, Russo says they can get to work on a composite right away. Chief Barry Fox with the St. Augustine Police Department says that's important because time matters. He can sit down on the computer with the victim and create a sketch of that individual that night while the memory is fresh. Um, which means that we're able to be more proactive in our efforts almost immediately. Face logics can also enhance surveillance footage and even create facial reconstructions. The results speak for themselves. And Face Logics primarily works with police departments here in Florida, but they also work with some in Georgia as well. Now, the hope is to expand beyond that. To learn more about Face Logics, head to our website, newsprojects.com, where we've posted the company's link. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.